Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, day's close, Monday, the 23rd of July, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so market stats, uh, market uh, insight as well in terms of Europe. Uh, initially, we started off negative, uh, given the fact that uh, uh, the Asian markets certainly were negative, other than the uh, Chinese markets certainly rallied. Uh, the Nikkei certainly down. Well, certainly, first of all, we had Mr. Trump. Okay, let's start off with that imbecile first. So, Mr. Trump's comments on Iran obviously created uh, geopolitical concerns, which obviously drove the markets lower and therefore obviously triggered risk off. Okay, we've already got the ongoing concerns regarding China. We've got Mr. Trump's comments regarding his criticism of the Fed and his, in, his obviously his meddling there which obviously is, is being perceived as being bearish as well and obviously is attempting to cause the dollar to move lower uh, given the fact that certain uh, uh, potential companies have certainly cited a stronger dollar hurting their bottom line. So uh, that's basically the status quo there. Okay, so also we had Japan overnight, potential uh, reference to uh, uh, easing, uh, foot off the pedal in terms of easing uh, and therefore normalisation which in turn obviously sent the Nikkei down 300 points, down 1.33%. And therefore, that should be interpreted as being risk off. Okay, so bearish sentiment there. So we've Trump's geopolitical concerns via Iran. Okay, we've got concerns regarding China, commodities, global growth, demand, etc. And obviously, we've got this situation now with regards to the Japanese, uh, basically, uh, concept of uh, the BOJ, basically, uh, obviously, uh, turning slightly hawkish, okay, or less dovish as everybody has expected, and therefore. USD JPY trade reverses, which in turn obviously exerts pressure on the S&P. Okay, so now let's see exactly how Europe basically fed. We had uh, Airbus and Fiat certainly on the uh, dragging on the downside, although to count that we did have uh, the euros on consumer confidence remaining stagnant. Okay, didn't fall further, and therefore and also German growth expected to go to look uh, certainly stronger going down the pipeline. In terms of the technical picture, then let's just bring this up for you. Okay, so daily chart German DAX. We obviously we've traced thus far. After hitting that 200 MA, hitting that Fib 61%. Okay, so we certainly pretty finished positive for the day overall. Uh, 10 minute chart at the moment. I mean, we did gap lower, more or less uh, held that gap. Okay, uh, push lower, and then obviously close the gap and held the gap. So uh, Friday's close more or less a neutral day, really from that perspective. Okay, given the fact that we did hit obviously gap lower initially at 12490, we bounced up to gap fill, sold off again, hit that double bottom, and then eventually we hit that test at top at 12560. I think one of the main, uh, obviously, uh, insights here is the fact that we didn't actually make a low low. Okay, so European equity is certainly finding strength here. Okay, and that's basically the uh, the actual uh, interpretation there. In terms of the French CAC, then, 10 minute chart again. This is a weaker, uh, in the, obviously, uh, index given the fact that it failed to close the gap. Okay, we have potentially uh, made a higher low. So, again, watch out there. Okay, let's see how the market reacts there. Uh, and potential inverted head and shoulders formation certainly brewing as well on the 10 minute chart with obviously gap fill above so certainly a strong argument for gap fill to close or alternatively i mean if you move over to the 60 minute chart it's just basically lower lows lower highs you've got lower high below or lower low below below at 5320 lower high certainly is in place and looking to make a lower low potentially retest 5340 or even close the gap or gaps below at 5280 and then obviously you've got 5320 as well so watch out there in terms of the FTSE 100 at the moment, really, I mean, let's just go to the daily chart first and foremost, and you can see that we've ever since we've hit that resistance on at 5440, we reversed quite sharply. Now, there is a gap below at 5320, okay, and then there's a gap below at 5276, and ultimately there's a gap below at 5140. Now, we have concerns with regards to Brexit, so watch out there. Uh, the market did actually ease, uh, did find support towards the end, given the fact that Mr. BOE Broadbent certainly turned slightly dovish. That certainly did lend support to the FTSE 100. 60 minute chart really trading nowhere okay really trading nowhere trading sideways really from that perspective uh, 10 minute chart you can see we've got a gap fill above uh, okay let's oh, sorry go to the foot see now do apologize uh, put the wrong index up okay so yep yeah, so the daily chart the foot c100 just give you an insight obviously we've got a bear flag scenario we've been consolidating within this red candle ever since and obviously looking to potentially break lower now either we test that 537500 or we potentially break lower 60 minute chart on the front of the FTSE 100 you got a bear flag scenario looking for the markets to fall and reverse and move lower okay so looking for risk aversion here okay 10 minute chart as well you can see that we close the gap obviously we reverse quite sharply ever since especially going into the close so 
that has to be respected as well. If you do have usually reverse quite sharp, then you are looking at support at 7640. Watch out there, then ultimately you're looking at 7625. So that's your support salt. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European indices. They certainly shrugged off the um, geopolitical concerns with regards to Mr. Trump. They even closed the gaps above, as you can see in the German DAX and the FTSE. You know, the CAC and the Euro stocks certainly are the two uh, laggards there. Okay, so do we actually hold resistance here now at 7680 and potentially pivot lower, given the fact that uh, intraday we did actually close the gap at 7625 before we obviously short squeezed higher okay so that's the status quo on that note please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers and be sure to download the latest app goodbye